have some bad news. Um, the caravan does not look happy. Hey, water features. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. God damn. Bucket loads. Literal bucket loads. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so I've just pulled up some of this flooring to see what's underneath, and as you can see, this. MDF is soaked. Not looking too good. Whoever did this just laid it over the rotten flooring underneath, so we'll probably have to pull this all out, see what the state of the flooring is at some point, and then probably pull that out and fix that corner, because I don't know if you can really see it properly, but, well, yeah, there you go. That's outside, <laughs> which you're not supposed to be able to see. This whole corner has become detached. Over here you can see, like, it's really rotten like this is all just rotten chipboard above the window is where it's really quite bad like this is all cushion so yeah we'll have to pull all that out as well at some point we've just measured the bed realized our bed doesn't fit in that corner so it's probably for the best we're going to put the bed over here and instead make that like a little seating area and put a little table in there there's quite a lot of work to do but the shell seems okay-ish. If we can get that annex up soon, I will be very, very happy. Another day, another adventure. What are we doing today? Um, we're not on land just yet, um, as you guys can probably tell. We are about to leave, but before we do, we wanted to share with you guys a bit of what we're going to be doing today. The plan for the, the awning has changed significantly. We initially wanted to do it with, with steel and um, like corrugated iron structure. yeah like proper roof but we figured since it's going to be maybe a temporary thing anyway we'll save our pennies for the roof on the workshop instead and um so we kind of approached it differently we decided okay we're going to give us ourselves a budget of 150 euros and see what we can do with that so i managed to find a place that sells secondhand vinyl um billboard vinyl we're going to get some um secondhand steel from like a scrap steel yard um, to use as poles. So what we're going to do is... Like a pitch tent. But they're going to be like opposing sides will be tall and the other opposing sides will be shorter. So it'll be kind of like a canopy sort of thing to, to increase water runoff. Today we actually got the parcel um, with the, the tarp with the vinyl. So uh, this is going to be an unboxing. Um, <laughs> how, how big is it? 10 by, Ten by 5. 10 yeah. by 5. So and it's... it's got like some kind of advertisement on it. We don't know what it is. Hopefully it's like a national parks advertisement for rainforests or something pretty. <laughs>
What are these week's findings? Trash queen strikes again. <laughs> All right, so this is a bathroom vanity that we found on the side of the road, which I'm very pleased about. This is a pile of children's foam puzzle pieces, and we're going to use that to insulate the caravan. We've got a couple more in there, and this, which I can't really show you yet, is the uh, vinyl billboard that we're going to use to make an awning for the caravan. All secondhand, everything free except the billboard, which was pretty cheap. Um, yeah, going to make some use of this trash. What do we have here? We don't know. So it's a surprise. We are finally, finally <laughs> going to figure out what we are going to be advertising <laughs> in the future. We're pretty fashionable here at the Scrappy Homestead, so I think this is fitting. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> this random lady's face is going to be with us always. <laughs> Alright, it could have been worse. It could have been, been much worse. I am going to finally try and do something about this caravan, which is get at least the beginnings of an awning on it. I'm going to be digging some holes so we can put the footings in. Uh, we don't have the, the poles yet, so I'm just, I've just measured out where everything has to go. And I've got this very large steel pole that's going to help me and a pitchfork. And um, hopefully that'll do the trick. Here she is, totally wrapped up. Hopefully in the very near future, this tarp will be able to be over it and not covering it. Uh, but for the time being, will be big, big help in keeping it dry. Um, and yeah, I mean, Jazz did an amazing job as well, already preparing the holes for the structure. So. Hopefully, won't take too long once we get around to it. Any thoughts? I hope I can get the water out of those holes. <laughs> we have to put concrete in them. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, to have water this high up, I reckon it's pretty much at the level of the foundation of the houses. So, not sure if that's what you want. I don't think that's what you want. What do we got? What do we got? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Holy guacamole! This is crazy! What the hell? <laughs> that, that tree is so far away now! <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing! Can I go in? Oh, it's so deep so fast. Oh god. Yeah, no, I can't really. This is crazy. This is nuts. Like, we can't access this in winter at all. Mm. Wow. And it's running like... It's super fast, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Can definitely put a generator here. Yeah. I wonder what all the animals are doing now that this crossing's, like, completely mm. closed. Uh, probably no more badges for a while. So that was part one 
uh, we didn't get very far, but <laughs> that's why there'll be several other parts. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe, and if you want, you can like, and you can become a member and join if you want more behind-the-scenes stuff, and extra videos, and early access, and lots of other cool perks. And, yes. what else? Uh, big, big thank you to all of you who uh, interact with our videos, be it likes and comments, and as well, obviously, a big, big shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for your continued support. Um, yeah, this is going to be a very exciting series. Um, yeah, yeah, stay tuned for one, it. For sure. <laughs> stay tuned for it. Make sure to subscribe in case you haven't, and to turn on the notifications bell as well, so you know about the videos as soon as they're released. Yeah, and, and there'll be another part in the series next Sunday. So we'll see you then. See you then. Bye.